Greetings automotive enthusiasts. Today we have for you a 2004 Audi TT Quattro. This is the 250 horse uh, Quattro with the 3.2 liter uh, VR6 engine. And so let's do, I'm gonna do a little walk around first with the uh, top up and then we will put the top down and uh, do another little quick walk around to kind of show you the car uh, both, uh, both ways. So I'll just do a quick little circle of the car. Beautiful uh, evening here in Kansas, April. A little chilly out, but uh, sun shining, kind of just going down, so kind of a neat time of the day here. So I'm gonna do that, and then let's go ahead, and since we're gonna do most of this video with the top down, let's go ahead and do all of the top uh, stuff here while we have it up. Uh, top is in excellent condition. This car only has 50,000 miles on it. I'm sorry, 58,000 miles on it. Four owners, no accidents or damage reported to Carfax. Top is immaculate. Um, just a couple of, uh, you know, like when it folds, you know, there's some rub rub marks or whatever, which is typical, but you know, that's just normal with the car. And we also do have the uh, uh, boot cover that covers the top when it's down. So just want to kind of show you the top and its entirety here. No, oh, this is a oh, something there. It's not. It's not into the material or anything. Just a little spot per se. Just need to clean it. All right. Let me see. Let's see if I can't actually show you the top operation here real quick. Got the key. All right. So the pot top is semi power. Let's jump in here real quick. There's the odometer, 58,117. So fired up. Love the sound of that engine. So anyway, we got a nice little top right here. You just push the button and pull it and turn it. Push it up a little bit and fold it back with the safety button. Okay, and then it's just one finger operation right here, the center console. Sorry for that dinger going, but best to work it so super fast super easy top operation and uh, that's it I mean it just takes a second so you can do this at a stoplight so let me jump out here real quick and we'll just walk around and do the rest of the video with the top down kind of neat a little train going by on the bridge in the sunset kind of a cool shot some fun stuff here and then uh, we've also got some company up here. Uh, got a little songbird up in the tree, so we're gonna get a little get a little sing along action with our uh, video today. So let's just do another little walk around. Got the side windows up, just left them up here. So you can see it's got the built-in uh, integrated uh, roll hoops for safety. So the front windshield is basically a roll bar with the two roll hoops behind. So uh, as typical VW Audi fashion, a very high level of safety. So I just kind of do a quick walk around here. Beautiful car, triple black, um, just a uh, super incredible car. So let's go in, focus in on some of the details here. Uh, car is in, in, you know, I gotta you know, say, I mean, excellent condition. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it's in very, very good condition. So let's start with the headlights. Headlights, uh, no flaws on the headlight. Uh, I will let you know when I got the car in, there was a little crack right here in the bumper. Uh, this, and it's a lower piece, right? So this whole bottom section is a separate piece, but there was a little crack here and I had American Collision. He does a lot of great work for me. Uh, he just uh, repaired that crack and refinished the lower section only of the bumper. So full disclosure there. Um, looking across the car, the hood is, you know, there's no damage, no dents, no dings. Um, some very, very light. <laughs> it's not, it's focusing on the tree. There's so much gloss on this, it thinks it's so focusing on the tree and not the hood. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. Let me come back. Anyway, let me just tell you on the, on the whole car, I mean, it's black. They're very, you know, it's a few very light scratches. A person could probably compound it and, uh, you know, bring it out to probably a 98% uh, effectiveness or whatever you want to call it. Uh, left headlight, 
pretty much flawless no issues some maybe a bug or maybe a chip right there but I mean for all intents and purposes I mean it's in excellent condition grill is very very nice uh, very even there are a few little chips you know and a few little paint imperfections but um, you know for 58,000 miles very very nice little scuff right there and like I said a lot of this would actually take the time to you know have a professional detailer buff it out and everything maybe do a little bit of polishing compound or something like that okay here we go on the wheels wheels are in very good shape I don't see really any notable flaws uh, I'm sure if you really put it under a microscope you might find something but let's check out here on the tires looks like we have if I can get it to focus here well it's not focusing but the tire is a 2015 date code so they're Pirelli P7s uh, they have a lot of tread right so I mean they're a little bit on the older side so as far as grip goes and stuff might have it compromised a little bit but these are uh, that's actually a 200 treadwear tire so it's a very soft tire so um you know, i guess you can take that for what it's worth i would drive these tires uh without question and uh until their usefulness was done it, it doesn't exude any issues of like it corners and handles fantastic all right look here there's a little teeny Boy, this camera is not wanting to, there's so much gloss it's not wanting to focus on the car but the reflections in the background that's interesting never had that happen before one little teeny nick on the fender lip very very minor looking down the side of the car i guess i have to use my descriptions here uh pretty much i don't see anything on the door the quarter panel there was, there is one scratch right here in the rocker so there is a scratch that's through the paint so really just could use a little bit of touch up, but the rocker looks very, very nice. Mirror, excellent condition on the mirror. Windshield is no notable flaws. I'm sure there's gonna be a little bitty rock pit here and there, but no notable flaws. Coming down, this is cool S line. Hey everybody, <laughs> this thing is just really clean. I, I, I guess with the reflections, you can kind of get a sense of the paint. Uh, looking at the wheel here, excellent condition on the wheel. And here I'll show you the rear tires and I'm assuming, I'm just gonna assume that they're all the same date code because I'm sure they were all put on at the same time. Yep, 2015 rear tires. I mean, the tires are 90%. So they just don't really have any miles on these tires. Uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a kind of a. So the little corner of the bumpers out there a little bit, but I actually don't see any damage. I just think it's just out of place for whatever reason. Don't see any issues or damage. Car shows zero accidents and zero damage. Tail light looks excellent. Coming across the deck lid. I do see one tiny upward, if you look in the trees, right there on that farthest branch, there's one tiny upward ding, like like uh, where somebody maybe had something in the trunk and closed it. It's very, I mean, very minimal, very hard to see. You can see kind of the top of the, I'm, I'm going right here. So yeah, you can kind of barely see it when, I, when you follow it there. Uh, back bumper. Uh, that, that just rubbed right off so I mean I don't I'm not gonna say this car is flawless but there's only very few minor minor issues here's the twin exhaust this is you know most of these cars you'll see oh look at that view oh I gotta back up <laughs> it's really really cool uh, I just love the roundness of these I mean it really I mean it looks more like it looks more like what a like a Porsche I think than a Porsche looks at, at this same time in, in you know, in, in 2004. I mean, I don't know, just something about the shape of these. And these classic TTs, 
the, the general, the, the first generation body style are actually gaining a real cult collector status right now. Then this is a very special one being the three, uh, two quattro 250 horse roadster. I mean, it's kind of, you know, got everything. It's got the little whale tail, which is specific to the uh, 250 horse. Uh, the twin pipes coming out the back. Um, just a very cool look, very cool car. Uh, tail light is in excellent condition. Again, not really seeing any flaws. There was one little scratch I showed out on the lower part of the bumper, but uh, let's look down the right side. Here, I'll do the wheel here real quick. I mean, this car's clean. Looking down the side of the car, I see, I mean, I see no door nails. It's in black, will show everything, but this car is showing very well. Looks like there's a little, I'm gonna call that a paint touch up, right here, and it's very minor, and right there. A uh, person could probably actually sand them in a little bit if they wanted to make that perfect little teeny ding in the rocker with a paint nick. Again, I'm being very particular here. There's down the rocker. But this car is probably as nice of a 50,000 mile, 2004 car as you're ever going to come across. And the right front wheel, this one does have a little curb, you know, right sides where you're gonna catch the curbs here in the States. Uh, some very minor curb rash on that wheel. All right, coming back around here. So let's take a little trip to the interior. And I do have, uh, I'll take a, a picture. I don't know that I wanna take the time to install that top since I, the boot cover since I haven't even put one in before. <laughs> could be a, could be simple or it could be tricky, not sure. Uh, door panel, it's pretty much flawless. Got the Bose, well it's got the Bose speakers and everything but it does have an upgraded uh, aftermarket uh, head unit which I will display. Let's show you the VIN number here. There we go. Man, this thing is having trouble focusing tonight. Sorry about that. Okay, looking at the seat. pretty much and I mean pretty much flawless on the seat you will see right here on the bolster that there is a little bit of color wear right here and uh, but I'm actually gonna have that touched up I've dr. vinyl comes out and uh, he does an incredible job so that actually will pretty much look when he's done with it it'll pretty much look uh, factory pristine coming across the dash zero I mean the, the interior other than that little bit of wear in the seat the interior is pretty much flawless honestly I mean I I've had this car for a little while I've enjoyed driving it we've had it for a bit now a few months see there's the aftermarket head unit with Bluetooth which is kind of nice it has the DS uh, uh, G transmission which is one of the first cars in Volkswagen and Audi or one of the first ones to really get it right. Uh, this thing shifts fantastic. You put it in sport mode and it holds the shifts. It, it uh, rev matches on the down shifts. I mean, super duper cool. I mean, the cars, the carpets and everything, just pretty much flawless. I'll show you the pedals, I guess. You can see in there at all. Dead pedal. The rocker. Pretty much flawless. Kind of a view, bird's eye view here. It's kind of cool, kind of cool shot there, right? Okay, see that. And then I'll show the interior as I walk around the other side. So you kind of see what it looks like on the inside. Very cool. Looking at the door panel. Excellent. I like doing this not in direct sunlight because then you don't get the shading and stuff and usually it gives you a better view. It might be a little on the dark side, so I apologize if this isn't coming through 100%. But I think it's coming in pretty good. Passenger seat, pretty much immaculate. And like I said, when Dr. Vinyl's done, you know, that left bolster will look like the, the, the passenger side. So really cool what Audi does. 
Um, they cover the radio. They've really went through a lot of efforts to make this car super duper clean. Here's the original books for the car. Owner's manual's in here. You can lock the, uh, that's the airbag there you can turn off. Uh, another kind of cool feature right here is that everything's kind of hidden. They really went through efforts to make this car clean. So there's your trunk and uh, gas lid. Go ahead and pop the trunk. But just neat how they, they really took a lot of time. I mean, these cars are really starting to, you know, people are appreciating the efforts, you know, kind of after the fact almost, really. There's a nice little cubby hole, like a second glove box, but reverse in the seat. There's a little speaker there for the Bose. Uh, sound system sounds fantastic. All right, let's go take a peek in the trunk here real quick. And I'll take pictures of the, uh, with the boot cover installed. Oh, I dropped the trunk here. Uh, so you can kind of see what that looks like. Like I said, I'm not going to go through the trouble or the time to uh, install it. So here's in the trunk. The trunk, there's that uh, top cover that I was telling you about. Kind of neat. I can't imagine. I bet a lot of these are missing. But uh, this one is here and in pristine condition. And we'll look inside the trunk. Uh pretty much immaculate like everything on this car put that back away kind of neat it just sits in there very very good view. actually pretty good sized trunk honestly a lot of roadsters you know typically can take a lot of space out of the trunk area when the uh, top is down so we're going to pop the hood here real quick and here we go the r6 3.2 so essentially this is like a an r32 golf kind of you know in a cool cool stylish futuristic road roadster body um doug demuro actually did a uh, recently did a, a video on the tt uh, roadster and it was a really good video and he can you can follow uh, uh his video to kind of go into more of the quirks and features per uh, <laughs> quoting Doug. Uh, and he talks about a lot of cool stuff, but um, it's just a really, really neat layout. Very clean, the body lines and all the styling they did. He kind of talked about how um, they really were ahead of the game with some really neat stuff that manufacturers are just now kind of adopting and, and copying some of the features, which is really cool. I'm gonna actually reach in because I really want you to hear this car. I'm gonna reach in and we're gonna go ahead and fire it up and then kind of browse past the exhaust a little bit just because I want you to hear it in the even more before we drive it. But it has a really cool tone to it. Just a nice deep tone. And that's what I love about the Roadster is you get to more experiences. Listen to this. Yeah, the little burbles and the deep tone. Because, um, you know, with the top down, you know, you're just getting more, you know. You're you're getting the environment. You're getting the, the to hear things more. So, to me, it's a fantastic experience. So, let's jump in this little guy and take it for a spin and see how it drives. strapped into the TT Roadster here got my cool vintage Audi sport hat on got to love to gotta have the, the stuff to kind of go along with the cars like a, an enthusiast here so I'm strapped in one thing I want to show you real quick and I'm gonna do this before I take off driving but there's a really super cool feature about this car I'm gonna turn the camera back you can kind of look right over my shoulder right here there is a glass uh, 
wind deflector that comes up power and uh, there it is right there it didn't hit the switch you can see it come up and that is so cool it's glass it's power unobtrusive just a, a killer touch on the car so um, so we're gonna take off here on this car we got the quattro right so really no need to turn off the ESP um, you know, it's nice here. It's actually a cool evening, but convertible evenings are actually one of my favorite times uh, of, of, of the day to drive a convertible, especially in the summertime. It's all about the evening time, right? You know, the sun beating down on you, got the warm air blowing, but even on like, it's like only about probably all oh, 48 degrees here, but I turned the heated seat on, turn a couple little clicks on that, got the heater going on low, um, and with the side windows up and the wind deflector, I mean, it's no issues at all. It's a very, very comfortable, user-friendly car. Um, so got the top down so we can kind of hear this engine sing. So let's uh, take it for a drive, see how it goes. I'll give it a little throttle off the bite here. Oh, such a smooth drivetrain. Um, that uh, VR6 has just got wonderful torque, 250 horsepower. Uh, I'm not uh, sure, I think it's similar on the torque but uh, let's take it for a spin. So that's in normal mode. So it has quick up shifts and it's just a nice drivable deal. But we're gonna put it down in the sport mode. You hear that little boom, right? A little rev match, uh, which is a super cool feature. So it holds the gears. I mean, when you put it in sport mode, it's, it's a legitimate sport mode. So um, you'll hear it, see it hanging onto the gears a little bit longer. And then if you let off the throttle, it'll anticipate and it'll drop a gear for the uh, uh, rev match on the downshift um very capable car uh, just super grippy no issues at all with the car um it's just fancy see how, see how it's actually holding the gear as i'm you know see that it's because it, it, it thinks i'm in the middle of a corner or something so it's not going to upshift on me um uh, but we're kind of just taking it easy and got some speed humps here and stuff but uh we've got a little uh, bridge coming up here so i'm gonna have to give it a bridge throttle here we go Wow. Okay, I'm not sure what the zero to 60 time is, but it's pretty quick. <laughs> so then we, we got the paddle shifters here so we can go from the car and then I can actually uh, manually hear the rev match as I'm coming to a stop here. I'm gonna put it back into drive, but I'm gonna take over with the paddles. Uh, just a neat little feature right here by on the steering wheel. And then you can also do it uh, manually on the stick, but most people prefer the paddles. Um, but like I said, this car is zero issues. Uh, when I got the car, um, I will tell you one thing, which is actually a positive. The, uh, uh, here, hold on, we gotta hear this. Uh, got a, <laughs> the car talking is a priority over me talking, <laughs> in my opinion. I'm guessing you guys probably feel the same way. Uh, gotta get, let's listen to the car and let this uh, bumbling fool behind the wheel uh, be quiet. <laughs> so I'm going to take a right turn here. Um, I didn't go around the corner. Uh, so <laughs> I lost my train of thought having so much fun here. Oh, what I was going to tell you is... Um, so when we got the car, uh, it did have one flaw. Uh, it, the, it, the shifting was kind of strange, okay? It was, it, it, as you drove it, you know, uh, didn't even notice it right away, but then as the car would heat up, uh, then I would have some shifting issues and kind of hunting for gears. And I got to researching it, and I guess they, they call it the mechatronics unit, which is the electronic valve body. Um, kind of notorious on uh, Volkswagen Audi products in this vintage with this transmission. So uh, everything was fine with the transmission, so we took it over to Europros, uh, who is a Volkswagen and Audi specialist. That's all they do. And uh, Volkswagen and Audi, and I mean, they work on everything from, you know, your, your Golfs to an, an Audi R8. I mean, these, these guys, actually the dealer, actually uh understand takes uh, some vehicles out there that they maybe have some trouble figuring out this guy is he is uh uh chad out there he is thanks he's first notch but so we ordered a brand new uh mechatronics uh valve body uh for the car and uh like i said chad at euro pros put it in it wasn't cheap but uh all in all it was just under three thousand bucks to get it in installed but the thing to consider though is it is kind of a, a, a common, somewhat common 
uh, issue, um, you know, from these ones from the factory originally. So now this car has a brand new one, Audi factory. So, you know, uh, these engines are super reliable. So, uh, so the car is in really tip top shape. I mean, I'm glad that it showed me some issues before I sold it. Uh, cause now I can sell it in hundred percent confidence. Uh, I love driving this car. Um, it's going to, it's springtime here and I bought this car. I'm sharing it with you guys and it's going to be listed for sale but I'm gonna drive it as much as I can because I love, love, love this car. I had a red coupe uh, of this exact same car. You can look it up in our previous videos, uh, but I'm going to be silent for a minute because we have a bridge. Gotta hear that. So coming back to you here. Um, so I had a red one of these and uh, I just love the car. I, it was my driver for, for a while, you know, and I just, it's such a fun car to drive, and when I came across this one uh, with the Roadster, because I, I, I'm a, I love convertibles and I'm a kind of a convertible guy, and uh, so I just absolutely had to have this car. And uh, I'm not sure the production numbers. Actually, uh, it'd be neat if somebody look it up or I could do some research. But I I think this is it was a very expensive car, and I think the production numbers are are pretty low. So uh, well, we're just out here cruising around, uh, sharing the car with you. Uh, like I said, no issues with the car at all. Um, and uh, so we're just just enjoying the ride. I, I'm driving right now. I'm not even. I got a jacket on, but but I'm still perfectly comfortable. And uh, so, as always, we appreciate you tuning in. And look us up EuroAsianAuto.com, EuroAsianAuto on Facebook, and uh, click uh, like and subscribe to you know see these videos as soon as they pop up. You never know, you might see something see something you can't live without. So as always, happy. Uh, have a great day and happy motoring. I love it, I love it, I love it. But one more thing I wanted to share with you guys. I, I'm, you know, on my way back to the shop, you know, after filming this video, uh, but I'm going 60 mile an hour uh, down the highway. I still have the top down and uh, what just really is amazing is um, how quiet it is in here, uh, you know, with the top down and how comfortable it is. The ambient temperature right now is 49 degrees, and uh, I'm just cruising around and, uh, and just totally enjoying it. So uh, I did this because I, you know, didn't know what the uh, mic on the camera would pick up, but I thought it might kind of uh, show, uh, you know, the lack of wind noise per se, you know. So. Uh, Anyway, just another, you know, neat little experience of the car I thought I would share with you. I went down in a burning ring of fire. Went down, 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 and the flames burn higher. Well, it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. Audi rings, this thing is fire.